Week 28 of Business and Leadership Stories Driven by Sachin Bhandari from the Story Co. Where a golden nugget of a story is delivered and then a marketing or communication tip is deciphered from that particular story. And here he is back for the attack. What's up? What's up? How are you, my friend? I'm very good, Rishi. How are you? Excellent. Well, there is a docu-series that you're pretty hooked on to. And it's a food docu-series on Netflix. Sure. And from therein comes the theme for this particular episode called Why Netflix's Street Food is a Revelation. Pray why? Yes, uh, Rishi, so I mean, I, I don't get time to watch a lot of TV, but this uh, particular show, a series, is something that I'd never miss. It has a new season, I think, every year or a couple of years. It's called uh, Street Food Latin America, Asia, and the recent one was Street Food USA. Uh, there's a very interesting restaurant, Vietnamese American restaurant called Mama Dutt, uh, which translates to Mama Feeds You in Portland, Oregon, uh, which is run by a Vietnamese woman whose name is Thuy Pham. Uh, and she does something really interesting. Uh, she creates uh, vegan Vietnamese dishes, which sounds uh, impossible, but she does that. And her vegan pork belly, pork belly is really, really popular. And apparently the interesting story is that it happened or the restaurant got created or she became like a food influencer who then started a restaurant because her kid daughter asked her to Instagram live uh, the vegan pork, pork belly that she was making. And when she did that, a lot of people started following and they were like, hey, we want a taste of that. And that's how the entire restaurant started. Wow. And, uh, you know, from from embarrassment because the child was embarrassed to open her Vietnamese food in America. I mean, obviously, uh, at the end of the day, if you're a minority in terms of a group, you're always a little reticent. Uh, it turned to sheer pride. That's wonderful. Right, right, right. True. So the uh, the interesting backstory, uh, Rishi, is that Thuy Pham, uh, uh, you know, fled Vietnam during the war with her mother. They came on a ship. Uh, they were refugees for a while. And then she started going to a uh, school in the United States and where she was surrounded by a lot of, uh, you know, American kids who would actually laugh at her food because Vietnamese food, of course, smells very different from Western food. And she always used to throw away uh, the food that her mother used to cook and literally starve. And that's something that she always felt through her life. She was always trying to fit in, uh, trying to belong. And in that, sometimes she was trying to run away from her Vietnamese identity. But I think at some point in time, she realized that she actually loves Vietnamese food. But she was also a vegan. And that's why she started bringing uh, Vietnamese vegan food together. And then the vegan pork belly happened. And then the restaurant happened. And she finally, I think, has found her place uh, in the United States, if I can say that. Incredible. What's the takeaway, the marketing communication tip from that incredible story? So the interesting thing, Rishi, is that if you look at uh, many of these food series or food shows, right, uh, uh, and Netflix's uh, street food is a very good example of that, is that they are all about people. Uh, it's actually not so much about the food. It's about the stories behind the food, the people who are creating the food, their own life stories, and Thuy Palm's story about how she finally belonged in an alien society because of the food that she creates is something that is really inspiring but also something that makes you want to go and taste a vegan pork belly at Mama Dutt or something like that and, 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 and a restaurant like that and the creators of the show mention this they say that the Netflix street food is not so much about the food itself it's actually about local heroes it's about heritage and it's about the direction that all of these people are trying to take their heritage into. And that's what we are trying to document and narrate stories of. So uh, the important lesson, in my opinion, is that, you know, no matter what you're doing in business, when it comes to marketing, when it comes to inspiring your teams, when it comes to building an organization, we have to remember that it's always about the people. It's, and only stories of people is going to inspire other people, stories of things probably will not do that and that's why even when we look at the iPhone we always recall Steve Jobs and the stories associated with him right Sachin Bhandari's win with stories newsletter is an absolute treasure you must read it go through it and draw your own inferences from it where can we read the 
win with stories newsletter and the story co and yourself conduct some detailed workshops on win with storytelling and uh, one of your primary aims is to train organization and groups of people uh, in better communication skills through storytelling and uh, that's right we'd like we'd really like to know how to reach you my friend uh, thanks rishi so uh, i actually the story co helps uh, organizations uh, startups and even individuals deliver on personality leadership and organizational development through the power of stories we do this through coaching training and consulting uh, how to find me that's very easy go to linkedin look for sachin bhandari sachin is easy bhandari is b h a n d a r y and on my profile there's a link which says get in touch or stay in touch click that you can either subscribe to my newsletter which i write almost every week or uh, just uh, schedule a call with me and see how i can help your organization win with stories too Splendid. I look forward to catching up with you next week my friend. Bye bye. Same here Rishi. Bye. 94.3 Radio 1.